Grove Street Outreach Team. You found me and helped me in my time of need. You fed me when I was hungry. You gave me clothes and a blanket when I was cold out. And for that, I thank you so much. I made a promise to the good Lord above that I would send a donation when I had some money. So I'm keeping my promise. Enclosed is $100 to go toward the needs of others. May God continue to bless you as you bless others. Sincerely, Jack. I'm writing this to those who help people you've never even met. My family is from out west, a bunch of overachievers. A lot of pressure there. I rebelled and did everything the opposite of what I should. I finally left home. I think I drank my way southeast and woke up in St. Augustine. I woke up recovering from a year-long drunk episode. I looked around me and saw what alcohol had done to others and decided that I needed help. So I went to St. Francis House. They helped me get connected with AA and all the services that I needed. The staff asked me what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. It was funny, no one ever asked me that. Two years to the day from when I came to St. Francis House, I came back to visit and presented the director with my two-year sobriety pin. As soon as I received my pin, I knew where it belonged. I'm happy to say that I attended college, have a job, and recently moved into my own apartment. I couldn't have done it without the support I got at St. Francis House. All I can say is thank you. Thank you for donating money to help people you don't even know. What an awesome community. Greetings and salutations. My name is Madison and I owe a lot to Port and Storm. Growing up, I battled mental problems which led to some trials and tribulations. It took me over a decade to confess and tell my mom about all of my hardships and she did all she could to help me get better, but because of a misunderstanding and some unfortunate circumstances, I ended up in the hospital. Afterward, I went to Port in the Storm. While I was at Port in the Storm, I wasn't rushed into anything. They worked with me at my level and let me set the pace. I am so very grateful to have been admitted to that shelter because the operation is smooth, steady, and stern. The staff genuinely wants to see clients work against all odds and do amazing things in life. Even though I wanted to give up, the connections I built while there have kept me going. Now, let's get a little real. Life hasn't been cupcakes and rainbows for me. However, with the right support like I got there, I'm making it through and have hope for my future. Thank you, Port in the Storm. Love, Madison. To those who support St. Francis House, here's my story. My family arrived on a chilly December night. We had no money, only the clothes on our backs, and a box of food. My boyfriend had no identification, but they would help us there. For the first time in almost a year, we were not told no because we did not qualify. Our case manager waved his hand and told me it would all work out. St. Francis gave me hope and a chance. This open door was just that, a doorway to something bigger. Before long, with their help, we had the identification, a job, and a little money to move on. If I needed information, it was at my fingertips for the asking. If I needed a bottle of milk for my baby, a gallon was thrust into my hands. The office door was always open. St. Francis House gave me grace and peace of mind, but what St. Francis took away was just as important. They took away my sense of shame that I was not able to provide a roof over my children's heads. They took away the stress of where will my baby sleep? and how will I cook her meals and take a shower. They took away the callous treatment of my family. St. Francis House offered my family so much more than I could have imagined. I was treated like family by not just the staff, but the brethren homeless who were also residents there. St. Francis House gave me shelter and so much more. With much gratitude, Chrissy. Chrissy.